Hi everyone, welcome to Sandra Sensations. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to be doing something I call a ball drop. I dropped the ball, ha ha ha. You know, that kind of thing. I just wanted to give it a whirl. I know I saw a while ago a lady, I think it was Mixed Media Girl actually, I think she dropped balls from a ladder. I'm not dropping them from a ladder. I'm just going to do a couple of little ball bounces and see what we get with some puddle pour. So I've got 16 by 20 canvas in front of me with the black acrylic mixed in with my acrylic pearlescence mixing medium. This stuff is awesome. So that's what I have in all of my paint colors I'm going to be using. It's strictly a a acrylic paint, the mixing medium, and a little bit of water to thin it out. That's all I have in my paints. All right, let's get started. If you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And everybody that keeps coming back, you know how much I appreciate it. All the comments, all the thumbs up, keep them coming. It makes my day every single day when I see that. Okay, let's start with which color? I'm gonna do Arteza's Pale Green with the Pearlescent Mixing Medium mixed in there. We'll do that first color right here and right here. Then with that one, I'm going to add some yellow, Arteza's Lemon Yellow, also with the pearlescent mixing medium in there. And I'm going to do a little bit of white. Okay, that's my first puddle. Now, let's see. I think I want to do some fluorescent. This was Liquitex fluorescent pink, also with the pearlescent mixing medium in there. Let's do right here, a little bit of a bigger puddle, and one down over here. Okay, and with that pink, I'm going to throw in some dioxazine purple. And we'll go with a touch of silver with this one. Okay. Now my favorite berry wine. Got to do one of those for sure. It's going to go right there, right here. And with that berry wine, I'm going to put some of the mauve pale, which is also Arteza, if I can get the lid off. I can tell I just mixed these bottles and I didn't try taking the lid off first. There we go. I mean business. Okay. Let's put a little bit of white in there too. What do you think? Should we give these a whirl and see what happens? Let's do it. Now, all the colors I use, the pouring medium, my bottles, Arteza paints, pretty much every tool you see me use, the butane torch, all of that I get from Amazon. And in the description of this video down below, there is links to all of it. If you happen to click on one of those links and decide to do some shopping, I will get a small commission on a gift card from Amazon to replenish some of my stock. So there we go. Let's drop a ball. One, two, three, drop. One, two, three, drop. I'm just going to do a couple more times. Leave that for a minute. Where's my napkin? Not spreading out as much as I had hoped. I'm going to drop it again a little bit higher up with a little more force. Did I even hit it? <laughs> I'm trying again. Hmm. I might just be dabbing it. 
There we go. That's what I want to have happening. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay, let's try this one. I'm going to drop it because it's a bigger puddle. <laughs> oh, I'm just making a mess, but that's okay. That's the fun of it, right? Okay, I'm just going to dab that again. That one I might add more color to because I probably muddied it up a bit doing that. I'm just mixing up some colors now. That kind of looks like fireworks. Maybe I'm onto something here. Okay, let me grab some more napkin though because I know I'm going to make a mess. I'm very tempted to tilt it a bit and see what these do. Why not? This way and this way. <clears throat> it really does remind me of fireworks, though, that one and that one. Let's see. We need to do some more color. Don't roll away on me. Inside my bowl. Okay, let's do Arteza's Phalo Green. Very pretty color. And let's do the Arteza's Pale Green with that. That's actually pretty cool. Stick that in there for a minute and let's give it a little bit of a tilt. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a tilt and see. It actually looks really cool. Just need to decide what I want to add to it. Well, this one's cool here, here, and here. I wonder if I should try this looks really cool. It's got a little P 
pieces of color splashed to the side. This one too. But I'm not sure what direction I want to go with this painting now. These ones here look really cool. This one's got a little tail on it, this one too. With some extra green going through this area. Okay, what else can I do, you guys? <clears throat> Add more color, that's what I can do. Let's go with... I think it needs a chain pull. That's what I think I need to do. I'm going to do some yellow. And I think some... I like the phalo green. The yellow looks good too. Purple looks cool. Let's do the purple. Let's just see how that looks. Put the chain down on my paint. I'm going to make sure I get enough color on both sides of that chain. And let's start here. And I'm going to pull it right there. <clears throat> okay. This one I'm going to try and pull it and bring it down. I'll leave that sit for a minute. I'm going to give these a torch and just see if anything's happening with some cells. Yeah, there's a little bit of cell action happening. A few bubbles here I missed. Okay. I, I do like the chain pull, but I'm still not totally sold on it. I don't know, it looks kind of cool. It's very unique. Maybe I'll just keep going with some chain pulling. I don't know. The ball drop turned out interesting and neat, but not quite what I thought was going to happen with it. Hmm. I think I need to add gold or something to spruce this up a little bit. And there's going to be another cap I can't get off. <laughs> Whoop! Yeah, I wanted gold there. Of course. 
What can we do with this gold that I just gooped? That's good. That'll work. Okay. Do one there, one there, one there, there, here, here, and here. Let's see. Go this way and this way. This way and this way. What do we think? Is that adding to the painting or making it worse? Greg's going to totally tease me about this because he says when I talk, I'm like, he's like, who are you talking to exactly? I'm like, I'm talking to my audience. Spreading out a little bit more color. See if we get any movements. Abstract art doesn't have to be perfect. And this is definitely an abstract. Okay. You know what? I'm getting my air compressor. If all else fails, blow out some color. It's actually turning out to be a few really nice flowers here, so... This video could be how to save your painting. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now how can you tell I'm really concentrating because I'm not talking. 
I'm usually chatting your guys' ear off. So I really want to save this painting, so concentrating. And hopefully you're still with me and you can check out the next video that will be featured. Which is one of my favorites. Okay, I'm going to stop with the airbrush right now. Take my paint knife. Grab some of my green. Just a couple of different areas here. I need some color added in. This one needs some green in it. I'm just going to pull some through. It's pretty good too. This one needs just a tad bit more color. Okay, I think I'm officially calling this done. Okay, I think we are doing good. It's definitely a busy painting, lots of color. Let's see, we did a ball drop, we did a chain pull, we've done an airbrush blowout with the flowers, added a bit of gold, and did a tiny bit of work with my painter's knife. There we go. I think this is probably going to be about a 20 minute flower video. But it actually is quite pretty. I'll just tilt it quickly for you. There we go. I hope you enjoyed that. Didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to with the ball, but I'll work on that. Figure out another way to get that ball to work. And we'll see you on my next video. Thanks very much for watching everybody. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks again.